Welcome to day five of our Sikkim adventure. Today we went to MG Marg, Lal Bazaar, Kad the Outlet, La Vie and Rose Bakery, and the Dragon Walk. Every day in Sikkim we walked at least seven kilometers. Now we're on our way to the bazaar. I wanted to buy a dress, but it was 3200. MG Mark is great for eating, shopping, and people watching. Smelling the teas was a sensory experience. It smells really lovely. It's a very light smell. It's a very light tea. And this is the green. I loved the China silk fabric here, and I got two and a half meters of the purple for Bubby. Mom was waiting to shop for clothes until we got to the Kadhi outlet for handmade fabric. It wasn't open until this particular day, so we came here to get locally sourced and locally made fabrics. We got enough fabric for Nanachi to have a warm winter kurta pajama. The fabric was beautiful and thick. I looked at the jewelry they had there, but it was expensive and not high quality, so I skipped it. These are some beautiful dupattas that mom got, and this is the handmade cotton fabric we got for dad's kurta pajamas. I loved the texture. They had such beautiful wool and silk shawls there. Mom got a wool one with an elephant on it, and I loved the colors of mine. I loved the different silk that they had on the shelves. They were all so colorful. These are the two fabrics that I got. One was cotton, and the other is the finest grade of raw silk that is currently on the market. We got three cotton fabrics for Dad and one silk for kurta pajamas. We're proud to support businesses like Sikkim, Kaddi, and Village Industries, local businesses where local people are supported, where they hand make all of the fabrics that they sell. It was an uphill walk to MG Marg, where we were going to buy desserts to celebrate my birthday that was last month. I love desserts. One donut at another place, but here they have filled donuts. Okay, what do you guys want? Just order what you want. They've got the baked blueberry cheesecake. The baked. Oh, yes, they do. Of cheesecake. Cheesecakes, oh Sarai. Cheesecakes. Oh. I think one chocolate. One chocolate, one strawberry. Or your butterscotch cake. Yeah, that one. That one's good. Get it. Okay. And then you can sit down and you can And the beautiful cake pop. Okay. Alright, let's try this donut first. Because okay. it's beautiful. Yeah. It feels so light and airy. Ooh, it's so cheesy. It is so good. I could just eat this all day. Please don't. <laughs> Can I have one more bite? Then I'll get it. Fine. The cream filled donut. I'll try this one first. It feels a little heavier than the last one. I'm going to bite it where the cream is sticking out. It's so good. Cream, it's so good. So next we're gonna try the chocolate eclair. I haven't had one of these for many years now. It's so good. The chocolate on top is good. The eclair itself is light and fluffy. It tastes very authentic. And the cream is of course delicious. It has a very uh, thick layer of cream in it. Very cool. Very Dance. It feels moist, that's important. I'm just going to try a bit of the center because the center is usually the juiciest part. Why are we eating it like a monster? Why did you do that? I think the last cinnamon roll that I had this good was probably back in California. It's just so good. I could eat it all day. Like. Let's try it. very light. It, feels, it does. I like it a lot. It's not super sweet. The texture of the cheesecake itself though is so delicious. And the topping is just lovely. It's very good. It's more creamy than cheesy. I really like it. Thanks. So good. Out of ten, easy eight. Easy eight. Eight and a half. Let's see. 
It's really good. It doesn't have a very strong lemon flavor. The lemon it's more of just like a hint of lemon, like a little bit of like an airy lemon aftertaste kind of, but it is really good. It's not super sweet, but the texture is wonderful. I love it. It's very good. Uh, they're a bit light for my taste. I like them a bit denser, but it's still very good. Yeah, out of 10, I would give this one a seven and a half, just because it's not as flavorful as the last one. Next up, strawberry cheesecake. This one is a nine from me, definitely. This one the strawberry awesome. flavor is light, but it's there. It is very good. The topping is amazing. The entire experience of this cheesecake is just wonderful. Like Sarai said, they're not as dense and like rich as some cheesecakes. It's more of like a lighter whipped cheesecake, but I still love it. So good. Nine to the final cheesecake, the last contender, the final contestant, the Oreo cheesecake. Let's dig in and grab some. We're gonna try it. This one tastes a bit cheesier than the other ones. This one is a little bit cheesier than the other ones. The um, the cheesecake itself kind of tastes like Oreo cream a little bit, and I I like the bottom. I like the crust. It's different than all the others. It's more of a chocolatey flavor. I really like it. Eight out of ten for me because. It's Oreo, so it's not super flavorful. Eight out of ten. Let's try it. Three out of ten. I'm sorry. It's like brownie, but not as flavorful. It's a four out of ten. So we're just getting the last of our dessert pack to go because my dessert stomach does not fully expand until I've had real food. But I just wanted to say that these were some of the best desserts I had. The cheesecake was not my favorite compared to some of the other cheesecakes we've had, like the oven in the mountain. Their cheesecake was really amazing. But this right here, the strawberry mousse donut, this was a 10 out of 10. This was a, this was like amazing. Like if I could just choose one donut to have for the rest of my life and never have another donut, it would be this right here, without hesitation. If that was my only sustenance, I could survive. In her hand. What? Okay, Wait, wait, do I have it? I think I got it. California rolls. Oh my god, it's a little bird. Not a little bird. On the plate. It's real. I love the rice. I love the way that they cut the vegetables. So thin that it just like creates a delicious texture. I love the sesame seeds on top. It's delicious. Your time is over. So good. The rice is perfectly cooked. I just really enjoyed it. Very flavorful. Nine out of ten. So we're gonna have some of this ginger and traditionally you can always eat the ginger and the wasabi with the California rolls. The stomach stuff here helps me digest. Look at my skills. Here is our ramen bowl. I'm going to try some with my chopsticks because I have a skill. It's very good. Now I'll have some of the broth. So good. There's a lot of like, green onions, some carrots. Yep, those are green beans. Looks very delicious. They're good. They're very thick. They're very tender. They're nice. They have a lot of flavor. I really enjoyed the meal. It was very good. I loved the California rolls. And the soup was amazing. I also enjoyed eating with my chopsticks. It was very fun to show off. My favorite thing was the California rolls. 
I will give them a 10 out of 10. They're so good. And the soup gets a 9 out of 10. It's also very good. The noodles were homemade. It was amazing. I really enjoyed everything here, too. I loved the noodles. I loved the soup. The broth was really flavorful. I loved all the different kinds of vegetarian sushi. It was really good. I liked how they had the seaweed around some of them. And also on other ones where they didn't have the seaweed, they had the um, sesame seeds, which really gave it a lot of texture. I enjoyed that. I liked all the sauces. I loved the rice. They cooked it really well. I really liked everything. I'd say that the soup was a 8 out of 10. The vegetarian sushi was a 9 out of 10. The rice was a 7 out of 10. Overall, the restaurant, I think, gets a 9 for me.